hi everyone welcome to my channel i am coach sherry i'm in my vehicle so this is car chat and all that <laughs> thanks for tuning in listen i always try to stay relevant when it comes to technology as relevant as i can you know i'm from that old school pen and paper tangible where's my notebook where's my journal where is that book and i'm starting to notice that more and more people are going paperless and it's interesting because it started out with people bringing their laptops to meetings and taking notes or doing whatever they were doing on their laptop, utilizing OneNote or Word or whatever to capture the information. And I still love the pen and paper. I have my whole system down, you know, I write in different colors. I have black for my in-person meetings, blue for my virtual meetings, red when I'm talking with my team, purple for just my random notes, and I use green for my coaching sessions. And so I love that because even if I use the same notebook for everything, I can quickly see, you know, what type of conversation it was when I'm searching for something. So my system has been tried and true over these years and has been very successful. But I'm noticing that you know, people are becoming more minimalist um, and having technology is allowing that. So there's not all that clutter. Now, I don't have a lot of clutter, but I do have a lot of notebooks, a lot of calendars, and I have them on bookshelves lined up. Now, I'm noticing that the challenge is when I have to research things from the you know from years back and i know that i have that information so now here i am pulling out my journals scouring through trying to find that one piece of information and that can take a lot of time for sure so moving forward what i've been doing because again i love the pen and paper um, I've been writing down my notes and then transferring them to OneNote, and, but I have to type that in. So that's not as good in terms of time. It's not as efficient. And so there are so many people that I know that have been using the Remarkable pad. Are y'all familiar with Remarkable? That's that pad. It's a it's a it's a like a tablet, but it's much thinner. Um, it's kind of like a Kindle, but you can't read or you can't search the web or anything like that. It just captures your notes and it put you know sends it to your email or whatever folders you want on it. I'm not sure what the storage rate is, but everyone that has it, they love it. And I had considered it, but. Um, it was only in black. You can only write in black. And the background is a grayish color. It doesn't have a backlight. So if you're in a dim, dimly lit room, you can't really read over. It's just, you know, I don't know. It's just not good for your eyes, first of all. But it's just not as vivid. And so I kept saying, well, if it comes in color, I'll get it. You know, I want to see it you know, where you can have a choice of the different color inks that you can use. And so it came in that it's it came in the colors now it's just the first um series of it and so you know people that know that i was interested in it had told me oh sherry it's in color now but then i started thinking about it you know it just came out in color it's going to improve so i don't want to get the first series of it being in color and I also don't want to spend $600 on it. What? So, okay, they have improved it. It comes in color. It has a backlight. So if you're in the dark or whatever, you can still use it. The battery life is amazing. I did try to use my my iPad as a, a function like that because I, I have one note on my iPad and everything, but I have so much on my iPad. It was distracting. So I, I, you know, I said, I can't do that. But I was on an interview panel and one of the other panelists had this notebook and she said, yeah, I've had this notebook for two years now. And she was writing with one of those Fixion erasable pens, which I thought was amazing because she was able to write in her notebook, but also use that same pen and write on paper. Now with the Remarkable, 
the pen that comes with it, you can't write on paper. So there was another panelist that had the remarkable and when she had to write on paper, she had to borrow someone's pen because she didn't have a pen. She didn't need it. She has the remarkable. Why would you need a pen? Well, if you want to write on paper, you need that pen. So it was like all of that going on. So I was looking at that notebook like, wait, and she had pages, like not a lot. It wasn't a big notebook, but it had pages. And I said, what is that? And she said, this is a rocket book. And the pages, it's a QR code at the bottom. They have these icons where, um, you know, you, you, you mark the icon on the bottom of where you want that particular page to go to because when you're done with it, you take a picture and it sends it to your email, to your OneNote, to your Dropbox, to your Google Docs, you know, wherever you need it to go. And I said, hold on, like, what, what's that? And you don't have to erase that page right away because it's multiple pages in that book. So, you, you know, you can do it for a whole week. And then at the end of the week, when you're doing your planning for the next week, you can um, refresh your mind of what you just accomplished. At the same time, you know, putting those documents where they need to be, organize it, and then, um, it's a dry erase. You spray it with a little bit of water. It comes with a rag, she said, and you wipe it. And then it's good to go. That notebook is good to go. Brand new for the next week. So I was like, huh. I looked it up and that rocket book. Now, mind you, remember, Remarkable was over $600. That rocket book is $29. And I said, hold on, <laughs> wait. It's the same type, the same premise, and with the rocket book, because the Fixion pins with the erasers, they come in multiple colors. So you can choose whatever color, and then the picture will capture that color and upload it, and there you go. I was like, yo, first of all, I always have my phone. So if I'm putting it into folders, I'll have my phone in meetings if I have to retrieve something. And yeah at least let me try it out that's less of an investment and it can help me get used to the paperless you know without it being paperless so i ordered it and i got it last night and today is the first day that i'm going to try and implement it into my life now it is friday i don't have a lot going on but i do have some projects i'm working on and I'm excited. So you let me know, are you paperless? What paperless product are you utilizing? I know there's a lot out there. Kindle even has one now. People, some people do use their iPad. Listen, I was all gun ho for my iPad. I brought a cover, um, one of those screen covers that would be kind of like, um, it had a different texture. So when you write on it, it sounds like you're writing on paper a little bit. I brought a stylist pen for it. It just didn't work. It was too much going on, too many pop-ups. My iPad is too connected to my phone. So my text messages and everything was popping up. It was just too distracting. Um, then of course the Remarkable, a lot of, I'm, I mean, I know a lot of people with Remarkable. Some people still use just their, just their um, laptop. They just take their laptop pop it open and you know do that some people use their phones their notes sections in their phones i know sometimes <clears throat> when i'm in, at conferences or at speaking engagements or something like that and when i want to just capture some of the things i just heard i'll bring out my phone take out the notes section and type those things in you know just a couple of words so but it's just something about that pen and paper. And that's why I'm so excited about the Rocket Book because it mimics that pen and paper, you know? So I'm easing out of that traditional setting and kind of cross-referencing it. My eyeliner is so thick over there, isn't it? Mm. Nothing I can do about it. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm excited to convert and one day be paperless. That's gonna be remarkable for me. And you listen, I'm a woman of a certain age and I know a lot of people get set in their ways and they're like, listen, technology, it's doing all these changes. I'm not going, I'm not doing, I'm not falling for it, but you have to stay relevant. I'm, I'm going to be 55 this month, but in my mind, I got 56 more good years left in me. I'm only halfway there. So, you know, I need to think about what's going on and how... I can utilize those same things so that I can be more efficient and effective in what I'm doing. 
So again, what are you using? Have you ever tried the Rocket Book? Are you interested to learn more about it? But definitely let me know because I'm here for the advice, the, the information, the you know resources, whatever you have um, regarding any best practices on how you use them, um, how it's helped you, whatever. Just leave me a comment and let me know. All right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, practice, practice so hard every day that when you get in, you will play to win. I am Coach Sherry.